saddest stories in the world when you hear about a woman who has lost hope. And yet, there's an organization in town whose very name says, no, don't do that, because we're here to provide hope. I'm talking about the organization that Tabby Abernathy, the CEO of the Hope Women's Center, and uh, Tammy, we celebrate the work that you're doing, Thank and you. also the assistance, Kathy Biederbeck, that you're providing an organization like that. Kathy Biederbeck, owner of Spencer's TV and Appliances. Why this cause? After all the years Spencer's has been in business providing appliances and services for so many people around the valley, why did you decide that the Hope Women's Center deserved your attention? Well, my husband and I, um get asked to be involved in a lot of different uh, charities and ministries. And so at one point we just had to decide, um, you know, what is it exactly that we want to do, to be involved in. And we decided um, we wanted to support ministries that helped women and children. Um, we wanted to support ministries that gave a hand up instead of a hand out. Mm -hmm. In other words, um, the clients um, learn how to fend for themselves, how to, you know, and then also um, faith-based because we feel like that's where the real hope is. And how do you provide those services? Mm -hmm. So we work with women and teen girls in any difficult life situation, and we have a very holistic set of services that we provide that seek to meet her physical, emotional, and spiritual needs. So we do that through free life skills classes, parenting, English as a second language, job skills, um, boundaries classes, emotional healing and support. We do that through mentoring one-on-one -on -one with a trained mentor support groups, pregnancy testing and support. We offer free child care so that that's not a barrier to her coming. And our whole goal is to really help break cycles of poverty and abuse. Well, I know you so. say you want to keep Arizona trauma informed. What does that mean? So trauma informed is really being aware of the trauma that our women come in with, having an understanding of what trauma is and how women respond to trauma. Um, our governor is very focused on helping Arizona become a trauma informed state. So we really as a nonprofit that works with women in crisis also want to be aware of what trauma looks like, how we can best respond, how we can be a safe place for her to come. Uh, Kathy, listen, you and your husband and your staffs at Spencer's uh, decided that you wanted to participate with Hope in all of those good causes. What do you say to other businesses in the Valley about that kind of participation? Well, I never hesitate to recommend um, involvement with Hope Women's Center because I, I completely um, trust that they're doing exactly what they say they're going to do. Um, basically, every dollar donated is put to good use. Um, we run a, a really tight budget, and um, and so it's really nice to be on the board of an organization that I feel that strongly about. That I, I that I don't have to hesitate ever. And that organization is the Hope Women's Center and do know that they'll continue to provide hope and services for years to come as they have for 35 now.